<clears throat> Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video with your host Ken Kukin and today we got another Destiny 2 video and we're going to cover the Titan and what exotics you can run on the Titan Stasis and what really probably shines. Now, I just went through this and recorded this video and it turned out to be like 23 minutes so I wanted to cut a little shorter so we're going to go through this a little bit faster. There are no exotics that specifically pertain to stasis and they're just like, oh, if you run this, it's just amazing with stasis. Like it's just built just for stasis. So we're going to go over like we do with the hunter, all the exotics that you can run and they're good on either just stasis, which I believe there are none, or they're usable on all universal subclasses for the Titan. And they're quite a bit. So we'll just go right on over. We got insurmountable skull fort. Art melee. Nope. We got Mask of the Quiet One. Gain ability energy when you're damaged. When critical, heals on kills. Now, this says heals on kills. Regain maximum health. Now, I don't know if maximum health means health and shields or just maximum health. Keep that in mind. If it's health and shields, that is very powerful. This is an option to run. It would probably be more powerful than the One-Eyed Mask. And the only thing the One-Eyed Mask does is just highlight enemies for you now. Last I remember, you don't see them through walls anymore either. But you get an overshield for defeating people that shoot at you. So if you get shot, even if you don't shoot them first, you can still get this to proc off. But if you start the gunfight, you land the first bullet and they retaliate, you're probably going to just come out better off. Capri's Horn is only for Solar. Eternal Warlock or Warrior. Nope. Word of Dawn. All right, so we got the Precious Scars. After reviving or being revived, your aura provides overshields to you and nearby allies. Now, you do not have to be the one that dies. You do not have to be the one that... Um, you do not only have to be the one that dies. You can be the one that revives, too. So keep that in mind to get an overshield. I'd probably put it... Uh, I mean, Elimination and Trials are where you revive. Uh, the PvE, I guess, is where you revive. I would probably put this maybe... Mid tier on the lower end of mid tier because again you're waiting for someone to be dead on your team for this to activate then you got the ACDO feedbacks the ACDC feedbacks melee hits store explosive defensive energy so you melee someone they melee you back you explode you explode dealing AOE damage and you could possibly kill them I think it stacks up to two or three charges so if you melee someone twice or three times, I'm not exactly sure. If anyone knows and wants to let me know in the comment section below, feel free. But that's how that happens. Usually when you're in a melee fight, you're going to melee and get meleeed as fast as you possibly can between the respective classes. So don't expect to be coming out of a billion melee fights with maximum charges on these bad boys. <clears throat> you got the Ash and Wake. Nope. We got the Aeon Safe. Once again, this is a very niche exotic armor to run it grants energy to anyone else around you that is not you when you do what well, well, says melee melee grants energy to nearby it doesn't even say melee kills but if you come into here it just says melee so just go punch things and titans do that a lot synthosaps top tier exotic one-eyed mask was also a top tier exotic um, and we will say the Mask of the Quiet One, I would say, is mid-tier. We'll have to check that out compared to the One-Eyed Mask. But I'm pretty sure it's mid-tier. If it only does health, it's it's low-tier. I know I know Transcendence on a Warlock does low-tier. Synthoseps, the old Sniper Gauntlets, turns your, turns, your Titan into, turns your Titan into the greatest there ever was. Like no one ever was. Buffs melee range being surrounded, buffs damage. So... If you want to look like the hardest thing to hit in the game, you run Synthoseps. It does not it does not compound and multiply the distance or uh additively increase the range of your stasis melee flight. But when your stasis melee ain't there, you can pretend you're flying across the map with Synthoseps. Pick them up now at your local exotic armor dealer. Worm God Karis. Melee kills increases melee damage. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna be playing with melee, I would run Synthoseps already. I wouldn't even wouldn't even worry about that. This is already a low tier exotic, but you can run it. I just I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, additional kills extend the duration and increase effects. So, unless you can start one punching people in PvP 
and effective in trial maybe in sixes it could have a place i've never tested them i've never brought them anywhere so keep that in mind it's something to consider um we got the ursa furiosa nope stronghold nope well i mean you could bonusing bonuses to guarding with sword but it's only when you have power ammo that comes once a time in trials i think once a time in elimination once every round in survival and a few times in control so you really want to look amazing with the sword sure but last i checked guarding and swords don't go well together crest of the alpha loopy i ran this for quite a few times at uh one stage in the game sometime between trials of the nine leaving and trials of osiris coming back generates additional orb of power from supers and healing pulse when barricade is activated it has a place. It's useful when you're using your barricade. It's probably a mid-tier at this point where it used to be a top tier when you could generate a lot of orbs for your teammates. On Bubble Titan, I would say it's a top tier because all you got to do is just drop the bubble and you're good to go. You don't have to do anything else. So this on a Bubble Titan, I would say is top tier. Anything that's going to... Any of these exotics that play around your barricade, by the way, you're going to want to have high resilience. I believe resilience is what affects its cooldown. So you have recovery for Warlock's Rift, resilience for Titan, Barricade, mobility for Hunter, Shade Step. You got the Icefall Mantles, created a suit of ice armor. Now, as far as I can tell, this is for any class. Replaces your Barricade ability with a personal armor reinforcement that absorbs a small amount of damage. While reinforced, you are slowed and Barricade does not recharge. So, technically, well, you know, specifically, you, you get an overshield, you can't jump, you can't sprint, you can't slide, right? You can't do any of that stuff. You can hop, you can't, like, double jump, you can't jetpack. And I think you can mantle, I would assume. Um, as soon as it gets broken off, I'm sure you're no longer slowed. So you're self-inflicting slow. So if you, you go in one of those little uh, grenades that slow you down and you don't like that, this might not be for you. Or you're kind of hanging back a little bit more playing at you know playing a good angle with your teammates you put this armor up and you just want to auto rifle something down or use your sweet business and just spam that that's also an option titan's ramparts you and your allies can shoot through your towering barricade this is a universal exotic i would say it's a mid tier not a top tier the shield can be broken pretty easily but with a good good placement and good team shot it could be highly effective that's why i only put it at a mid tier and probably the lower end of the mid tier i would say but then you have um you can also couple it now with your stasis grenade the wall the ice wall now you can if you put it behind your barricade well your barricade's just taking bullets where your ice wall wouldn't that's not very, like, that's not super awesome. But if you put the ice wall down, then put the rallying barricade up, and they start shooting your ice wall away, then they're going to run into you shooting them back, and now they have to, you know, they have to shoot, they have to waste bullets to shoot the ice wall, and then, you know, probably reload before they break your rallying barricade. But again, it just, it's, you know, just the ice wall grenade and a barricade, just having two walls is just powerful for zone control or grabbing a zone or heavy or anything like that. It's very useful. Very nice. And the ice wall definitely activates faster than the uh <laughs> faster than the barricade can be dropped. Actium War Rig steadily reloads your equipped auto rifles or machine guns magged from your reserves as you use them or as it sits there. I forget which, I think it's just over time. I don't think it's as you shoot it. I don't remember. This is a low end of the tier. That's why I really have nothing to say on it. But you can run it if you, you want to run it. Run it. If it was very effective, I would say this is a high. It would. I would say this is a mid tier exotic if it worked really well with sweet business. And if it did, I would. I would have ran it with my sweet business, and I haven't to this day. Hollow fire. No armamentarium. Top tier exotic. Top tier exotic. Running double grenades is top tier in stasis. Running double suppressors on Void Titans is top tier. It's mid-tier on everything else ever since they nerfed Pulse Nades and every other grenade 
on Titans are a little bit mid-tier. Now, if you're really good with flashbangs, flashbangs can be very powerful and could put it at the low end of a top-tier exotic for striker Titans or arc class Titans. But for the most part, lightning grenades were nerfed. Um, all the void grenades on the Titan are worse than the Hunter, and I would recommend suppressor nades anyway. That's like the only grenade that's better than any other grenade because it suppresses. And uh, the solar grenades are all right at best. So, but gaining an additional grenade, especially on your Titan, can be very helpful. So out of this, out of the first page, you have the armamentary and you have the uh, the syntheseps, and you have the one-eyed mask. I would for sure say those three right there are top-tier exotics. The precious scars and the icefall mantle. I'm not sure, especially precious precious scars again that revolves around someone being dead. The icefall mantle uh, hinders your mobility, and mobility is. If not the most important, the the next most important thing about the game, next to abilities, is one. I think mobility is more important than anything else, personally. The heart of the ML slight. Use one ability to briefly improve your other abilities. That means you can make your grenades better, or your melee stronger, or your barricade take more damage. But what's cool about this, empowered means abilities have faster regen, melees and grenades do more damage, and barricades have more hit points. And I'm looking at that abilities have faster regen. So that's a that's a plus. That could be something to consider right there. It could be very useful if you want to run a high mobility build. Heart of Inmost Light is something you can consider. I would probably put it at mid-tier. I will test this out myself because I'm curious how well it will work. <clears throat> powered melee kills and finishers now i covered this in the hunter video and this is why it doesn't work this is covered stays it specifically says arc solar and void this exotic i don't know if this exotic came around before or after they even conceived stasis as a subclass but if this came out after they conceived they knew damn well that they were not going to allow stasis to be affected by this because i wanted to run it with shurik and hunter and um the assassin's cowl and it doesn't work so um if you haven't watched that video there will be an annotation in that video stating that on the screen hopefully you're actually reading it that uh that is why assassin's cowl doesn't work and if you're if you didn't read it if you just wanted to listen to it well now you know the assassin's cowl doesn't work on stasis because it states it directly if i would have inspected it like a like a smart person instead of an idiot and read what it did I know someone's out there. Ken, you always tell us to read what they do and you didn't do it. I know. <laughs> so that's why that doesn't work. I hope they change that to be honest. I hope I hope this was I hope this came out pre stasis conception and they're like, oh, we should add this to Assassin's Scale, Severance, Enclosure, blah blah blah. Lion Rampart, buff maneuverability in air, hip fire and lift. Low tier exotic. You just get more mobility, maneuverability while you're jetpacking around. The MK44, nope, that's for shoulder charges. We don't have them. Dune Marchers is a, I would still say a top tier exotic because it can literally team wipe a team of three. I've never seen a team wipe a team of six yet, but when it does, you best believe I'll always be looking for that opportunity because, oh boy, that's going to be hilarious. So it increases your mobility, and when you're sprinting, you get a static charge and when you punch someone the static charge goes out and hits everyone else around them from a great range is the the distance is ridiculous and sometimes that stuff goes through walls i've seen it like a bullet you you would get shot from a guy and you take cover and then you die to the bullet yeah something like that top tier exotic a any of them any of the mobility exotics top tier um peacekeepers reload stowed smgs and allows instant ready universal i'd probably put it on low m smgs i don't see a a lot of people running SMGs. I see them here and there. But there there are better weapons to choose. And when it comes to exotics, and it only does one specific thing, especially when it comes to weapons, it's not that great. Like Dune Marchers, mobility. Take Dune Marchers and this, for example. Dune Marchers increases your mobility sprinting. 
already right there. That allows you to do everything faster, get to snipe lanes faster, get to your teammates faster, get to zones faster, get to heavy faster. Get to, I've just named five things that just, and it's covered by one stat. That's your mobility. And now you have peacekeepers, stowed SMGs, reload, and allows instant ready. But you, are you ever there? Like, it's it's just not great. Uh, I'll go into into it another time, but I I just think it's pretty bad. If you like it, you like it. Again, this is not the end-all, be-all. Do as I say, run these exotics, or you're trash. It's, these are just my thoughts and opinions. Someone asked me about stasis and exotics, and I said, oh, I'll cover that for you. Antaeus Ward, sliding reflect projectiles and grants super energy. Now, if this couples with the fragment that getting frozen kills gives you super energy, not only can you slide in, throw an ice wall down, reflect the bullets, and shoot them to death as they're frozen and get extra super. Bro, if you get a bar per kill, this is a top tier exotic. I'll be testing this one out myself as well. Peregrine Grease, bonus damage on airborne shoulder charge doesn't affect us and the Phoenix Cradle doesn't affect us as well. So as far as exotics go on this page, Dune Marches is probably the only top tier exotic here. And then notable mentions are Heart of Immos Light and Antaeus Wards. So that's going to wrap it up for this video going on 16 minutes. Um, there's a link in the description below for the Hunter video. If you don't see the box at the end of this video right here, that'll you can just click on and go straight to the Hunter video where I covered the exotics there. The Warlock video will be coming afterwards. I want to thank you for your time. Super appreciate it. Consider subscribing. Thumb up the video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. If you have any ideas, Ken, would you like to cover this, that? Ken, do you have any thoughts on this and that? I'm also going to bring the podcast back, which I will be leaving links in the descriptions below for all videos going forward. Deep breath. Woo. Breathe out. Thank you so much for watching. I super appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you when I see you. Peace out.